I want to give you a little advice if you're going into a difficult conversation. And a few years ago, a wonderful mentor of mine shared a suggestion with me that has really changed how I approach any difficult conversation. And she said, honey, the person who speaks first always loses. And that just took so much pressure off of me when I realized that if I'm going into a difficult conversation, it's not about having all the answers, having my script perfect for what I'm going to say or how I'm going to handle it. It's a reminder for me to listen and to let the other person talk because sometimes we go into a conversation thinking we know how the other person feels or what the other person wants. And if we start addressing that without really understanding that piece and listening to them, we might put our foot in our mouths in a big way. So number one, just remember that the person who speaks first loses and just let that be a reminder to listen. Number two is asking questions and asking good questions. I have found that if I start any question with how, how do you feel about it? How did it make you feel? How do you want to handle this? How should we proceed? If you start a question with how, it really gives the other person an opportunity to share with you where they're coming from. And if you get stuck and you're not quite sure what to say, just say how and then let the rest of the question come to you. And in every time it does for me, I always think, oh, I don't know what to say. And I say how, and then by the time I finish how, I already know the question. And it allows me to better understand where that person is coming from. And the third thing is to just keep your heart open. If you can spend a few minutes before you go into a difficult conversation and just get yourself centered, take a couple of deep breaths and really feel that light and love coming into your heart and surrounding your whole body and just ask for the highest and best good for everyone involved in the situation, whether it's one person that you're meeting with and yourself, or if there's multiple people that are affected by the difficult conversation, I like to pray for the highest and best good. And I ask that God or my spiritual guides or my angels or the divine light or your higher self, whatever you want to say. And I just ask for that presence to be with me and to help guide me through the difficult conversation. So I hope this was helpful and breathe. <laughs> it's always an easy thing to remember. And as you go into this conversation, just remember that you are loved and the person that you are going into this difficult conversation with, they are also loved. And from that place, we can really achieve anything together if we come together in love, even though we may not agree. So I hope this is helpful. Have a great day.